www.pondscape.us. It's July 1st. And the birds are apparently incredibly active. You can hear them in the background. Um, we put in a lot more fish. There's got to be close to a thousand fish in here now. Somewhere around there. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Didn't exactly do a specific head count of everything. But, um, we've got most of the tropical fish from the inside in here now. I mean, we have some we're, we're still keeping inside just as a contingency reserve, but most of them are out here. Um, most of our bulk fish orders have been placed. Um, we've got, oh, roughly uh, a few dozen <coughs> baby silver dollar fish. 75 algae eaters. And the first thing that they did when I dropped them in, not that it's any shock, is just started munching away at all the algae. Never in my life before have I ever seen so many algae eaters attached to any one anything ever in my life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Um, I also ordered, um... Quite a few red tail sharks, a uh, hundred of them, I do believe. They're supposed to be able to get about as um, as big as our goldfish here in a pond environment, which is pretty awesome. I was talking um, with Tony over at uh, Ocean Design when I picked up the stuff. That's http colon slash slash ocean design aquarium dot pondscape dot us, and um, or you could also go to Ocean designaquarium.com I do believe it is but um the pondscape version let's just say it, it has uh, more multimedia interaction um, with YouTube with Google and you know other services so there's uh, more information available online ironically but it all links directly into his pages too so it's all good it's it's like the same thing only mine's just like an add-on pack I guess you could say but um he was saying that um, he looks forward to being able to um, freak out his customers by selling these big, huge red tail sharks that are deep, deep, deep chocolatey black with the, with the bright velvet vibrant red in them for the exact same price as he sells his normal ones. <laughs> he looks forward to seeing how his customers react, and quite frankly, so do I. Um, that should be cool. But, um, he was able to fulfill most of my order. Um, there's a, a few dozen of the, um, the red tail sharks that, um, that the wholesaler that he goes to did not have. But, um, he's gonna be getting those in for me next week, so that's cool. No huge rush. But um, th this is pretty interesting, and as everything keeps getting bigger and bigger in here, and as, uh, you know, the fish that um, feel motivated to breed in here do so, um, this pond is just going to get more and more and more active. We've uh, finally got some hyacinth ordered because the, um, the goldfish need that for breeding. Um, the reason being is because they shoot the eggs up into the root systems <clears throat> because those eggs need a lot of protection. Um, goldfish, um, even though in a lot of ways goldfish are intelligent, they're equally stupid. Um, they are of the variety of fish that will eat their own eggs. <laughs> it's, yeah, some fish are just odd like that. So that's why when they lay the eggs... They prefer to lay them in um, something that's well protected. Um, they will attempt to lay them in other plants, like the Creeping Charlie plants we have, but that doesn't provide sufficient protection. And the eggs get eaten, you know, like they did last year, because we couldn't get any hyacinth. But we've got it ordered this year. Because um, in Chicago, it, they passed a new law. Um, it's not illegal to grow hyacinth or to raise it or whatever, but um, it's not even illegal to sell it privately. 
What it is illegal to do, however, as we focus on the little bee here, I gotta love these guys on the rose bush. What it is illegal to do, however, is um, sell it in the pet shops for whatever weird reason, I have no idea. Um, these environmentalists are, can be stupid sometimes. Uh, yeah, but anyway. So, we've got that ordered from a suburban source, so that's cool. And, um, I know the goldfish will be breeding in here. Whether or not the babies survive, well, that's an entirely other story. But, um, oh, we'll see what happens. Of course, we got the velvet red tail swords. Or, excuse me, the just the velvet red sword tails. A little dis <laughs> temporary dyslexia there. Um, we've got our fancy guppies. Oh, Here's a nice one. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Oh, yeah, he's pretty. That's a male. Look at that blue. That fluorescent blue in there. That's awesome. That's pond raised. He is nice. Got that fluorescent. Oh, it's almost a fluorescent tint in there. Um, like a neon. So, yeah, this is pretty sweet. Obviously, we've, we're still continuing to do work on our little side set up here in our waterfall, which I currently have the waterfall off at the moment because the air temperature is a little cool right now. So, um, got that temporarily just shut off. And of course, we've also added what um, we kind of nickname uh, the pisser because at a, at a distance, it, it looks like this... Uh, Little kid's taking a wee-wee here, <laughs> but upon closer examination, you see that he's just sitting on top of a water pot, and he's dumping it out. So there's a, a pump down in there hooked up to that to provide water out. So It's all coming along really good, and there's going to be a lot more to come. Of course, um, in the extremely near future, we are going to be implementing the upper extension of the pond, which is this blue bathtub looking thing. But once we're done, you're not going to see that because it's going to have the lake liner in it and around it, just like in the pond here. We're going to have plants grown around it and everything else. And um, it's all just, um, it, it's pretty much just going to look like what you see here uh, only in a, in a more elevated version and um, we're gonna cut the front off of the top of this end here and that is going to then waterfall down into here so that's gonna be pretty sweet www.pondscape.us. Catch you next time.